We made some chocolate dough. Uh -huh. What it does so is you can tell me that things roll. Yes. Like That's so great news. Roll it out, you can sculpt with it. I'm looking for just the spot I want. Here it is. Hey, welcome back to Crap. Check this out. A special request. Um, a person came in and they wanted a chocolate dog poo for Remember their friend one? who was oh, having yeah. a veterinary clinic. Only bit of goodie. And so I made Works exactly candies. You made a pile of dog poo. Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And made dog poo out of chocolate. That's what we're going to make there. Let's give these guys a little commercial oh, right now. Shape. Because I love Words Candies. And I love the fact <laughs> that for the last five years or so, you can walk into the store there in downtown Lebanon, Pennsylvania, and you can buy the very thing we're making right now. You can actually buy the Dirty Job Special chocolate dog poop all around the world. They, they ship it now. You should know you can get your own box of Dirty Jobs dog poop. All right, this is what you call a shameless plug, but fundamentally, it's an episode of crap. So you'll see how it all comes around in just a second because, of course, we have some here for you. Messy Bessie sent it to me. Do you remember Messy Bessie? Do you have a picture of Messy Bessie, Kristen? It's, I do. It's probably on here somewhere. Oh. See if you can find it. She's one of the most delightful little old ladies I've ever met. And I've met, I've met many, many, many little old ladies. She's been working at Words Candy for, and I'm not even exaggerating, 174 years. And that was six years ago. So she just celebrated her 180th birthday. And we try and stay in touch. Everybody over there is doing great. They know what we're doing here with crap, and they wanted to help out. It's difficult because, really, how do you sign? How do you sign chocolate, or you know, poop, or chocolate that's made to look like poop? But this is this is what we have to offer you. It's fresh off of their presses. Look at that, the Dirty Job Special. Now, unlike the polar bear poop that we featured here, what was it like a month or so ago, Kristen, yep, something yep. like that, which brought in a pretty penny. That was more of a paperweight. You can't eat it. Yeah, you shouldn't eat it. Whoever purchased that, don't eat the polar bear poop. It's been treated with any number of chemicals and preservatives to make it not stink. But this, of course, is chocolate shaped like poop. You can eat this if you want. I don't know that you should, but you could. Uh, it arrived uh, just yesterday in pretty much the same condition as you see it right now, except it was wrapped and it had a little... Uh, now it, it had one of these little freezer things on pack, it. Yep. Yeah, it had a freezer pack, but it's fine at room temperature. It's chocolate, okay? It came in a box like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together the way it was. This is ultimately going to go back in the plastic, right? The plastic's going to go in the styrofoam. The styrofoam is going to go on the top. On top of that is a picture of Mike Rowe, which he signed. He talks about himself in the third person a lot now. He doesn't know why. Uh, anyway, that will come to you, but wait, there's more. Aside from the Dirty Jobs special, uh, they also sent me this, uh, this shirt. Hey, everybody got a Word Scandy shirt. So sure, I will sign this. They sent me a, uh, this has got to be a quadruple extra. It just says extra large, but honestly, that's a, that's a big shirt. I'm going to sign that shirt. I'm going to put that in the same bag with the picture in the box and the styrofoam wrap along with some of that green stuff to make it festive uh, and a little freezer pack as well. And uh, it'll get to you in no time. And it's chocolate. Maybe you, look, maybe you want to eat it, maybe you don't. What would you do, Christian? Would, would, would you eat it or would you cherish it forever? I would probably have to eat it just to try it. Opinions vary. Do with it what you will. It's crap and yet it's priceless. Priceless crap. That's also edible. Edible Priceless Crap, or EPC. <laughs> this is your first crap episode. It's actually an acronym. Collectibles Rare and Precious. Whatever you bid for this on YouTube, 100% of the proceeds goes to the MicroWorks Foundation. I believe I've touched on all the salient points. Kristen, final thoughts? Was it fun working there for the day? Did you eat That's a not lot a final thought. That's a broad-based question. I know, that could but a it's, answer. it's like I love Lucy, except with you. Um, well, yeah, Lucy and I are, are very different, but working in a candy shop is an experience like no other, especially one that's been in business for uh, centuries, it seems, and these guys have been around forever. The, the best thing about the day for me, honestly, was the fact that it was fun and nice and self-contained, as opposed to the day before, which took place about half a mile underground in a coal mine, in a bituminous coal mine uh, up there in the, well, the coal country, where you typically find these holes full of coal. So uh, this was a this was a much nicer day. Now, do you have any more questions before we say goodbye? No, that that was it. It's always a pleasure chatting with you, and it's always a thrill selling my crap to you. Thank you so much for the support in the past, or for the support that will come in the future. We've raised literally thousands and thousands of dollars for the foundation. 
which makes us nice people. Bloody do-gooders, I like to call people like you and me. Kristen, jury's still out on you somewhat. <laughs> See you next time. Don't take any crap. Just mine. <laughs>